Hey, what is going on guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we're checking out a boom oversized hardcover and that is The Many Deaths of Lila Star. So without further ado, let's take a look at this book. All right, here is the cover of the book, which I believe is depicting a version of the Hindu god of death. But also what you're immediately going to notice probably is the striking colors. You're going to love the colors throughout this book. The pages really pop, and I hope my camera can do it justice. But you might just want to pop this one in the shopping cart already because you're going to want to see this for yourself. And the writing is wonderful. I'm just letting you know up front. Okay, and here's the back of the book. And just look, look at all the nice things people are saying about this. It's a masterpiece. It's visually stunning. And let me tell you, all those things seem true to me after reading it. All right, let's actually jump into what this story is about. So the story opens up with us in this other plane of existence, and it is one where there are deities, but it's also kind of this corporate world. And death is being called to the office of one of the gods, perhaps the god of gods. And you know, this is a little strange for death because death doesn't usually get called into the office like this. Death has been doing its thing for, you know, all of eternity really and the news that death gets in the office is that they're actually being let go they're being fired death is no longer needed which sounds absurd outrightly but the reason for that in this story is because at that time somebody had been born on earth who was going to discover immortality so death is let go and ultimately goes on this vengeance driven mission to go down to earth which is an irreversible thing to my understanding of the story so once she becomes human she can never be like the god of death again but she goes down to earth she takes the body of this person who recently died lila star and her mission now is to find this person who is going to cure mortality and to kill them and that person who's going to find out how to be immortal on Earth is actually this child in Mumbai named Darius. And I mean, he's a child when we first meet him. He, we see him through several points in his life as Death Lila Star is hunting him down. But it's so interesting the way this is done. The book really interestingly showcases the anatomy of a life because they anthologize the way they do this. So there are five parts, each at a different point in Darius's life but what's really cool is that through each one of those you know we get the human experience from Darius's perspective as he's growing up and his ideas are evolving and he faces some of the hardships of life such as death and Lila also you know throughout the years is grappling with the pleasures and pains of mortal life learning what it means to be human although she does have sort of a heightened ability she can speak to ghosts or spirits or crows or or things that just normal people might not speak to but she also throughout both their lives Darius and Lila run into each other a few times and they even have some conversations about you know the value of life and death and they have some really beautiful and heartwarming and touching and philosophical conversations and it was especially exciting to you know every chapter see where these people were going to be in the next stage of evolution of their lives because you know we'll see them at eight and then it'll be 12 years have passed and then 16 years have passed then 35 years have passed. What's going on now? What is Lila doing? What is Darius doing? Has Darius solved immortality yet? Has Lila conspired a way to kill him or stop him from doing that yet? What is going to happen? And you would think a book like this where you're rooting for both those characters in a sense you would think that they wouldn't be able to pull off such a spectacular ending because I was reading through this and I was like they're not going to be able to conclude this properly they're not going to be able to do it in a satisfying manner but they did and it was so wonderful it was very um, heartwarming too I found myself getting very emotional over the ending of the story and then just taking a step back and thinking about the story in totality I highly recommend this one guys it's a light quick read and you definitely won't regret it. It's also pretty interesting because I mean I don't know about you guys but I think most of the stuff that I read coming through mainstream comics from the big two and whatnot they're usually very focused on you know western civilization or European people or whatnot but this story for example is told from a completely different and diverse perspective so for example it sheds some light on things for me that I maybe knew about foundationally but never really explored further or just hadn't heard about in such a long time because they're not really the core issues that a lot of modern comic books tackle. Like there was a lot in here about discrimination and social inequality in Indian society and things like the practice 
of untouchability, which, you know, is just an Indian version of racism. Uh, and they handle it really well, and they handle it in a way that really makes you think about the issue and how sad it is. And to go even further, that is a part of the story that is told from, you know, the child perspective of Darius, where he's witnessing those kinds of behaviors in his society that he's growing up in. And he doesn't quite understand it because, you know, as a child, you don't really see people in that social hierarchy sense. So he doesn't understand why people are being rude to a man that he cares a lot about. And, you know, each of these key moments that we witness of Darius's life are really important for how he gets and forms this idea of he needs to defeat death and create immortality. And a lot of this is really wonderfully illustrated by Felipe Andrade's beautiful, beautiful, unique style that captures the atmosphere of the society really well, I think. And there's also so many bright, vibrant colors that are popping out on these pages that help emphasize certain aspects of the story and make the fantastical elements of things blend really seamlessly with the natural order of things in this book. Yeah, so I don't know about you guys, but I always tend to enjoy these fascinating stories that, you know, revolve around the themes of mortality, fate, and the meaning of life. And this one was cool as I did it with some Hindu mythology involved. And I found its conclusion pretty poignant and satisfying with its message. And yeah, I got to check out a book from Boom, and I think it's the only Boom book I have, but it's well put together. I would read another Boom hardcover. Alright, before I sign out, I do have to admit something embarrassing, that when I bought this book, I originally thought it was something else. I don't know why, but for some reason, I thought this was a story from Zoe Thorgood, and I really, I had no clue what this was going to be about, so I was like, okay, yeah, The Many Deaths of Lila Star by Zoe Thorgood, awesome. And then I got it, and I was reading the foreword, which is about, like, the author visiting India, and them sitting around and looking at the bustling atmosphere and whatnot. And I was like, okay, that's kind of, like, interesting and a little odd that Zoe Thorgood is writing about Hindu mythology. You know, she's a very European woman. <laughs> and then I realized, I was like, wait, she had nothing to do with this book at all. And I think I was um, confusing it with another book of hers, which is like the impending blindness of and then some other character's name. So I don't know the many deaths of the impending blindness of insert character name. That threw me off somehow, but yeah, whatever. Look at all of these cool extras in the back. You've got these covers, you've got these illustrations, you've got interviews. Guys, what a cool book. Anyway, guys, with that, let me know if you plan on picking this up. Let me know if you've read it before, and you have a great rest of your day. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.